Hello everyone and welcome to the Nice Label video on printing barcodes. In this video we're going to take a look at the different types of barcodes in Nice Label and how they print. I've got Nice Label open and we're actually going to go over to our object area here and select barcode and I'm going to place one on the label. And I'm just going to enlarge it so we can see it a little bit better. Now here we have our barcode. Now you may notice that the ribbon part or our contextual ribbon has highlighted some areas that we can take a look at which may be of interest to us. We're going to take a look at the barcode section here. And you'll notice we've got a few options related to this barcode. We can change the barcode type from a dropdown. We've got some human readable options, barcode details, and color. Well, let's take a look at the barcode type. If I click on this dropdown, we can see that we can access any of the barcodes that are available in Nice Label simply by scrolling through the list. And as you can see, we have quite a few. Now, if we wanted to actually look for a certain type of barcode, such as UPC, we could type in UPC, and we'd actually bring up all of the UPC-related barcodes that it finds. Now, taking a look at some of the other options, we have the human readable options. This is the data that you see here, such as the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., placed below the barcode. If we click on this, we have the option to place the value above the barcode or have no human readable. So this gives us some flexibility in the design of our barcode and the design of our label where we need the actual data to show. I'm going to keep mine as below barcode and we have some barcode details. We just have quiet zones, which are some uh, requirements that you may need depending on how you have to design your barcodes and what specs. And we can check that on and off and it actually modifies the barcode. Now for this, I want to change this to an actual QR barcode because we want to see what options we have with a 2D barcode. So if I type in Q, this automatically brings us up a few QR barcodes. I'm going to click on QR here and I'm just going to resize it a little bigger. Now here we have our QR barcode. Now as you can see here, we don't have as many options. All we really have is just barcode details. Most 2D bar barcodes don't have human readables. So I'm going to click on barcode details, and here we have some stuff we can change, such as the symbol version, error correction, or encoding, which we'll get into a later video. So in summation, we learned how to actually find different barcodes in our software by going through a drop-down value, which we have here, or using the search bar here, and we learned how to interact with different features such as human readable or even things as quiet zones or different error correction with our barcodes. Thank you for tuning in to this video on Nice Label, How to Print Barcodes.